Hey everybody, welcome to Slash Bash, where today I am bringing you another Choosing Beggar Reddit video. If you are new to the channel, then subscribe and click on notifications so you don't miss out on the fun. In our first story, a choosing beggar at a hotel is unsatisfied with the choices of free beer available. Anyone else think it is strange to be incredibly cheap and have expensive tastes? Let's jump right in. Several years ago, I worked at a small hotel, kind of in the middle of nowhere. We were stationed a bit out of the way from everything else, so people didn't really expect much when they came in. We offered free breakfast every day, and on weekends, we had a wine and cheese social in the lobby where we allowed our guests, 21 and up, to sit and socialize and just enjoy themselves. In addition to the wine and cheese, we had two types of beer on tap. These were usually Samuel Adams and Corona, or Samuel Adams and Bud Light. Nothing extraordinary, but hey, it was free! During one particular night, when we were completely booked up, we ran out of beer in the middle of the social gathering. Not wanting anyone to be upset, our assistant general manager ran out and used his own money to purchase a few 12 packs of beer to get us through the rest of the hour. He knew he would be reimbursed for it later, but he hoped to be able to provide good customer service to our guests. Enter Choosing Beggar. This woman had been a thorn in our side since the first day she checked in, snappy and demanding to the hotel staff, constantly calling down for toiletries, extra towels, and complaining about how long it took to bring them. You name it. She and her husband happened to come down for the wine and cheese social the night we ran out of beer. When AGM came back with the 12 packs of beer, he sat them in a few buckets of ice to cool them down and informed our guests that it was set up. Choosing Beggar's husband went up to scout out the offerings and then report back to Choosing Beggar. Our AGM had picked up two 12 packs of Bud Light, two 12 packs of Corona, and two 12 packs of Stella Artois to mix things up. As her husband told her the options, Choosing Beggar's face twisted up like she'd smelled something awful. Ugh, really? They couldn't have brought something better? Her husband explained to her that the hotel had run out of the two beer options for the night, which were Corona and Bud Light that evening. Choosing Beggar sighed dramatically and said, So they went out and got more of the same? And Stella Artois? They may as well have gotten nothing. Choosing Beggar didn't go up to get a beer during the rest of the social gathering. By the end, naturally, all the beer had been snatched up. Eventually, Choosing Beggar caved and then told her husband to go and grab her something. And she would choke it down, I guess. She threw a fit when her husband told her there were no beers left. And eventually, the AGM asked her to quiet down or leave the lobby, as she was disturbing other guests. The day she checked out, the hotel staff basically threw a party in the break room. Story 2 shows us a choosing beggar who thinks it's unfair that our OP won't pirate his 3D rigging and give him a copy. Can't you just break the law and steal for me? Is that too much to ask? Okay, so I'm actually a 3D generalist specializing in both modeling and animation and I have been practicing my animation skills using a quadrupedal dragon rig for ballet. No, I'm not kidding, and yes, this is important. So a few hours ago, I posted up another work in progress of my work to my favorite Facebook animation group, and a little while later, I get a PM from this guy. I'm going to change his name here to, I don't know, Pickles. Sure, why not? Let's go with that. Gonna copy and paste the conversation as it was pretty crazy, with some very slight editing between square brackets for privacy reasons. Hi last name, I'm learning 3D animation, can you please send that dragon rig which you have animated in dance, and send some rigs for my practice, please, it would be more helpful for me. I linked the website with the purchase info and site for the rig. There you go. It was the best $16 I ever spent on a rig. Also, my last name is blank. My first name is blank. He had it backwards. I can't buy. Please send. I can't afford. Sorry, man. I can get sued for that. You can help an animator. I will show you my work. Please send. 
Try using Great Riggers rigs. Most of them are free. Sorry, man, but I'm not legally allowed. That dragon, I love to animate. I know, it's awesome. That's why I saved up for months for it. No joke, I'm a wee bit strapped for cash for online purchases 99% of the time. Why? You have already buy that rig. Just because I bought it doesn't mean I'm going to hand it out for free. Please, bro. Please send. I won't share with anyone. I only use for practice. That's called piracy. I'm using only for my work. Practice. Same. I won't use it for commercial. Please send, bro. I don't have a commercial license either. Only standalone. It's $18. It's not that much. It's at this point I'm starting to lose my patience with this guy as he's rapid firing his PMs and is kind of being a total blank. But I can't afford that. I'm Indian. Our currency on dollar is huge. Please understand and please send. I'm not racist in any way, shape or form. That does not mean I particularly care what ethnicity you are when you're trying to get me to pirate for you. Then talk to the rig creator. He made the rig. I can't do anything. So sad. If I would be in your place, I would definitely help a learning student for his better future. If I have money, I would definitely buy that rig. I would beg you waste. You are such a selfish fellow. You won't help others. God will surely show justice for you doing this all. This is where I lost my autistic sugar honey iced tea because you do not guilt trip me. I prefer to keep my messages open and don't like to, but if you don't respect me and what I've told you, I'll have no choice but to block you. Also, screw your guilt trip. I'm poor as flip and my grandma gave me a gift card so I could get it. I got through animation school just fine on free rigs and I got a job in 3D animation with them too. You want a nice rig, you either buy it or you luck out with a free one or you trade a rigging friend your skills for theirs. Rig creator spent months working on the model and rig and I'm not going to take a dump on his work because you want me to pirate for you. I'm atheist, but you worship what you like. Now have a nice day, and if you want some advice, Rig Creator, the creator of the rig, he has sales and bundle discounts often. Try entering a few online contests and use your winnings to get the rig. At that point, I sent him a link to a site with some nice free rigs from a very nice and well-respected rigger I know, because I'm not that much of a biatch. Here, most of his rigs are free, and they're really darn good. Do yourself a favor and don't be an internet beggar. It's not going to help you in the industry if you keep that up. I didn't hear back from him for a couple of minutes after I sent that. I'm sorry. I felt satisfied with his apology, so I decided to try and give some advice and throw him a bone. Thank you for your apology. I appreciate it. I wish you the best of luck with your animations going forward. I found a few good rigs that are free over the years. I know of a cartoon dragon you might like as well. Give me a moment to find it and I'll share it with you. I sent the link. Here, try this rig out. It's really expressive and will look great in a reel. I haven't heard anything back. From the looks of things, it's been a few hours now and he hasn't seen any of my messages after apologizing. I hope I wasn't too much of a butthole. He really pissed me off for a while there. In our final story, a choosing beggar contacts someone who is delivering packages of food to less fortunate people and is upset when he won't give her a package. She and her three flatmates are unfortunately unable to get out of bed before 1 p.m., so they can't make it to the grocery store on time. Shouldn't they count? Hello, I am Blank from E55. I saw your message a few days back about delivering grocery packages in society group chat. Hello, yes, I was the one delivering packages to the settlement workers living across the Underbridge construction site and across other construction sites. Do you want to contribute or donate for it? Actually, I wanted one of those as I am not able to get groceries and other products. Are you one of the tenants living with other girls, right? Sorry, it's only for settlement workers. 
Yes, there are four of us. Actually, we will run out of groceries in a day, so just wanted to inquire if you can spare one. Sorry again, that's only for settlement workers, and as of now, I don't have any of those packages left. Are you sure? Yes. All the stores are open from 8 to 11. We wake up at 1 p.m., so by the time we are awake, all the stores are closed by then. That's why if you can give us one, we will be able to make it through for two or three days at least. Sorry, ma'am. You can set up an alarm for 8 a.m. for tomorrow if you need to buy some. What are you suggesting? Didn't you send that message in group that we need to help the ones in need during this time of quarantine and still you are denying to lend us a package when we need your help? That's hilarious. Bro, that was for the settlement workers and the help there was addressed in context to settlement workers, not for residents who live in air-conditioned homes and can't wake up early to get their stuff. On a serious note, don't ask me again for this. So you aren't going to help us in this time of crisis? Final answer? No, lol. Thanks for being so selfish and arrogant, and please don't use this type of tone to talk with women ever. Which type of tone, lol? This. You are using cuss words while I'm trying to talk to you with respect? That's really disrespectful to a woman. Bro, are you for real? What type of entitlement is this? Laugh my butt off. Not my problem that you guys are lazy and wake up at 1 a.m. and then demand groceries from others that's meant for less privileged. It's you who's being disrespectful, not me. Get this straight. Again? This is not the way to talk to a woman. What's wrong in letting a spare one out for someone who can't make it to the grocery shop? We are four of us, and it won't do you any harm if you let one for us. You can buy one package extra from the market to replace it. Laugh my butt off. Buy it yourself, and leave me alone, lol. Okay, thanks for lying into group. I will let everyone know that you don't help the ones in need. This has been John from Slash Bash. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video and want to see more of them, then please hit that subscribe button. We'd love for you to drop a like, share it with your friends, and we will see you in the next one.